Welcome to Look at Her, the Hey Queen after show, where our super celebrity guest looks at some of the hers that she's known, worked mm. with, loved, hated, and gives us a little tea, mm. ah. or even throws a little shade, oh or just tells us something that we don't know. Today's guest is the gorgeous and super talented Darian Lake. Oh. Yay! Yay. Yeah. Hello, honey. Hi, honey. Uh, you, we, your producer was just trying to get you liquored up, but you said you couldn't drive like you do in Rochester. Yeah, in Rochester, you know, you can drive um, drunk at any given time because you just blame it on the roads being slippery because <laughs> right. it always snows there. Yes. So, yeah, you know. And then, in, of course, in the fall, we had a great fall. You know, the, um, the leaves were falling off the trees because uh, they were dying of boredom. <laughs> Rochester is like a theme park if the theme is despair. Oh, how wonderful. It's lovely, though. It's, it's, you know, it's a great town. I'm very proud of it. You know, I'll have to introduce everybody to the world of a, the garbage plate, which is oh. a great thing to have after you've been drinking. The garbage. Let me. Well, lady, here's Lady Red. Lady Red's here. But Lady Red, I'm sorry. I just got yeah. distracted by the garbage plate. Don't yeah, you want to it's see a, it too? It's a, go, ahead, go ahead and minister that out. Oh. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm going to do it without my mouth watering. And. Um, so they take like mac salad and home fried like potatoes that are fried really crispy. Mm. And I mean, it really looks like a, a plate of garbage. And then they layer that on top with hot dogs and hamburgers and cheeseburgers and cheese. And, um, and they have this like hot meat sauce. It's, uh, it's, um, it's like a meat based hot sauce that you can find the recipes online and it's greasy and spicy mm. and delicious and creamy and it's everything you want. And like, ugh, it's, it looks like garbage, but when you're drunk as fuck, you're just like, I'm gonna get me a plate, oh, wow, and, this is, wow. and it <laughs> soaks up all the alcohol in your body, and you wake up brighter, younger, fresher, you know, looking <laughs> gorgeous. You know, people wonder what my secret is, and I say it's fat injections. Oh, um, I get a little carried away. <laughs> it's everywhere, it's fat, so it keeps you soft, you know. And I live in Rochester. I'm always out of the sun. Mmm. Yeah. You know? Now, do you ever think about moving from Rochester? I do sometimes, you know. Um, um, but I bet your rent is way cheaper than it would be anywhere else. I know, <laughs> you, you, have, you, know? you have your own house, right, in Rochester. Exactly, you know, and um, so, yeah, there's, um, you know, it's so affordable to live there. It, I'm like, Rochester, not perfect, but it's close enough. Yeah. It's close enough to New York. It's close enough to Toronto. It's, you know, uh, it's like three-hour drive to Toronto, an hour flight to New York City. So, um, you know, I think about moving away, um, being a snowbird, but I'm still doing hair, you know? Um, right, you're still doing hair after can't all do, these years. You know, yeah, because they're not just clients, they're friends of mine. Right. And you know, I can't be like, I'm gonna be famous now. And then when you have a down month and they're like, so how's that famous gig going? <laughs> Like, um, like yeah. well, so, it's but yeah, okay. You know, it's, I love it. It's, it's also that great creative outlet and stuff. And I love the transformation, especially when you get a girl who's like shy and meek and then you give her this transformation. She finds that woman power. She's like, my pussy is now made with teeth and yes. I can conquer the world. <laughs> you know, so that's what I love about it, you know, finding that. So, um, so I think about it, but, um, maybe I'll be a snowbird, you know? Yeah. You got one house, you get another. Exactly. As long as I can stay somewhere for free, I'll be there. Well, there you go. Oh. Morgan McMichael's house, here you come. Exactly. <laughs> That's the thing. You know, like I always had that dream of running away from home as a kid, and now I get to live that out. Yes, you life. do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, now, Darian, you know how to play this game, right? Mm -hmm. We're going to mm -hmm. look at the huzz, yes, and know. you'll tell us some tea, mm -hmm. some shade, or just something that we don't know. Okay, cool. All right, let us begin. <sighs> look at her. <gasps> Oh my God! See, ah, I love him so much. <laughs> that's a great new um, look. This gray hair look. That's fantastic. I love it. Um, she, you know, she's a, a beautiful woman of a certain age who is. Bianca is so smart, so funny, so witty, so quick. Um, it's she's just and generous and thoughtful, and she remembers things like. Um, she actually just recently called me up. She was in Australia. Uh, she was uh, doing a tour in Australia. And she's like, I'm at House of Priscilla. Remember those earrings that Courtney wore all the time more than Jocelyn Fox's necklace that you love so much? Because I'd be like, Courtney, I love those earrings every time you wear them. But I truly mean, like, I mean, like, I love those earrings. I want them. Um, 
and they didn't have them in stock when I went to Asa Priscilla. So I'm like, oh. she's like, I'm gonna send them to you. I know, you know, and it's been like a couple of years, but you know, so um, she sent them to me, and I love her. She's so thoughtful. You know? Love it. Plus, she's got all that money. You she's know? got all that Bianca box. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> so she's making, she's making a. Yeah. When you're the one star of your traveling one woman show, you're doing those big theaters. You know? That cash is coming in good. Mm -hmm. We just, and the thing is, like, on the set, like, just constantly just laughs and having fun and having a good time, you know? So um, I always think a picture like me and her up in a balcony, like Statler and Waldorf and totally. Muppets, and just be like, oh, oh, you know, uh, laughing about things. So <laughs> I love her. Love it. Mm. Look at her. Look at her. Ooh, Sasha Velour. Oh, that's a great photos. Current rating. Stunning. It's a, a new perspective on, on some drag. But also, you know, classic, you know, it's like um, we've seen like club kids and all that kind of stuff. But I love how, okay, like when you get off the show and you're getting all these bookings in nightclubs, you're thinking like, you know, I have to do a dance thing. I have to do a death drop. I have to like, you know, turn it out. I have to work, bitch. Right. And that's not what made me a performer, you know, like so beloved in Rochester. It's like, I wanted to do camp. I wanted to do comedy. I wanted to have fun. I wanted to, every once in a while, throw in a dramatic number. Sure. And it's great to see the, the appreciation and somebody like Sasha Velour, who has that love for like Shirley Bassey, you know, but then also doesn't take it seriously and turns herself into Gollum. Like I fucking live for that <laughs> yeah, shit, you definitely. know? So, yeah. And I love the whole, you know, um, rose petals out of her wig I said on Twitter. I was like, probably chicken McNuggets would fall out of my wig if I... <laughs> you know. Have you done that? You should do that number with chicken McNuggets, sweetie. I, I've tried to do that number. I get a 20-pack. Right. Apparently, they're all gone by the time I'm like, sneaking them out of my wig backstage. I'm like, I can't do it now. You're like, the effect did not work, Darian, because only one nugget fell out. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I mean, can Lady Red have that idea? Because that's a really good one, I Lady know. Red. Do, do, so do, do, emotional do, do. with the nuggets. Mm -hmm. Lady Red wouldn't let 20 nuggets go to waste. I'm either. more of a chicken selects kind of person. I'm classy. Oh. Yes, Shut you up, are. Bitch. No, you are. Shut up. Genuine. <laughs> <thing slime. laughs> Shut up. <laughs> it's true. I will fucking eat. Uh, yeah. You know what? Nick Nuggets, like, they all have shapes and names for the shapes. <laughs> Listen, they do? Like, yeah, they have names for the shapes that they're in. Uh, what are they? Uh, there's like the drum and there's the hammer or something. I don't know, the sickle. Wow. I don't, it's like a, um, I don't know, you can look it up online. I'm, you know, I don't understand the internet. <laughs> <laughs> so. Right? Now that we have that great chicken made nugget wig idea, nobody's stealing mm. except for Darian mm -hmm. and Lady Red. Okay. Look at her. <laughs> Pandora, Pandora Box. Pandora Box. Adam Tyler shot a beautiful photo of her right there. I know, which is so hard to do. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, I love her so much. Uh, we have been just such close, close friends that I can go four years without seeing her, and when we get back together, it's like, you know, hey, how's it going? Ah, good, you know? And we just, we fall into that, that comfortability. We don't have to be like, ah! You, know. you don't feel like the gals from Sex in the City every exactly. time you see each other? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, it's just, uh, that's what I love about her. And we have that, um, one of the first times that we really connected, we were just watching TV and just making jokes about the TV show and uh, about all these has that had been on the show. And we just started laughing and, and, and I was like, you know, I like this bitch, you know? So, I love her. I love her. It must um, be an interesting you know. thing to have like started yeah. off, you know, being her drag yeah. mother, and then for you both to go through that experience yeah. of drag yeah. race together and yeah. totally open up your whole world. It really did. You know, it's like I'm okay. Like I was her drag mother, but she was also my drag mother in many ways. We helped each other out, and you know, people thought that like we lived together. So like, oh, did you guys have sex? I'm like, I don't have sex with everybody I live with. I live with my parents, <laughs> and my dad's a horrible kisser, and that's a deal breaker. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> the way he. Holds my head. I'm kidding. Oh, daddy. Um, no, it's, you know, so <laughs> Pandora, is just, she's always been there for me. We always have an alibi for each other. Like, girl, if the police ever calls and say, where was Pandora Box? I'm like, we were watching Steel Magnolias eating chocolate chip cookies. So she's Good like, she's a, I, that's always the alibi. Like, if, if you get in trouble, it's like, I was with Darian Lake and we were watching Steel Magnolias and eating chocolate chip cookies. You know, you hold your story. Hold that story, girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. Look at her. Look at her. Milk. Milk. Milk, milk, lemonade. Um, <laughs> milk is so, um, like, club kid to the next level. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things that I, I instantly fell in love with milk on the show is we were taking the van back, and it was our... Um, 
our season was separated into two groups. So you instantly felt that animosity with each other, um, but she was on my side. So um, when we first got to meet everybody, we I were, the yeah, it was like, you know, we were supposed to like hate the other girls, so, you know, you're our competition. And um, so we're in the van and we were talking about everybody and the subject of um, Gia Gunn came up because she was very sort of, you know, hard to get along with at first. And, um, and Milk was like, and what was with fucking Willy Wonka? And I was oh like, my God. <laughs> I'm like, I am done. I love this queen, you know? And, um, and I know that she, um, she you know, excels in, in the looks and all that stuff. And I knew like at first, you know, she wasn't like, you know, I'm a performer, I'm an entertainer. She was always like a piece of artwork, mm. you know? And so it's great to see her evolution that she's, I mean, leaps and bounds. You know, I yeah. can't do leaps or bounds or even a standing ovation <laughs> at this point. You know, I'm, it, I'm tired. So, again, love her. Nothing Good but one. love. Yeah. You know? Look at her. Aggie Dune. Aggie Dune. Legendary. I mean, you know, she's the one who inspired me to put jewelry in my hair. Um, <laughs> and that looks like you maybe borrowed that exact thing from her. I know. <laughs> borrowed. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, if you borrow something from one person, it's called theft. If you borrow <laughs> from many people, it's called research. Oh, okay. And so, um, she, Aggie Dune has been, she's the Rochester Supreme. She sort of started, she was like... Um, there was the old pageant girls, and then she was like the new wave of, of girls. And she also helped us, and she would stay up late night and like, you know, sew things for us and create, um, and just inspire. And like when I first saw her, she was doing Frankenfurter at Rocky Horror Picture Show. Wow. And I was like, oh my God, like why do they have a woman doing, and my friend's like, no, that's actually a man. You gotta go see his show, his name's Aggie June. And so I went and saw him, and I was like, this, uh, this entertainer, it's just amazing. Just this is what drag is, you know? Um, so incredibly talented. Um, you can talk to so many Drag Race girls and throw yeah. that photo, and they will know who she is, and they'll be like, she deserves to be on RuPaul's Drag Race. <laughs> right. Completely. Especially if you starve her and get her a little, you know, her blood sugar low, she oh. gets a little crazy. Oh, even better. Yeah, oh my God, she makes me look like a goddamn angel, <laughs> um, which is hilarious. Um, but she's one of those people like, if there's a crisis, if there's a bomb going off, she's got everybody out the door in the lickly split. You know, she's got, you got this job, you got this job. She's delegate. She also owns the salon that I work at. And so she's, she's an amazing boss because she can put things in order and, and you know, amazing. Yeah. Is she still trying out for Drag Race? Of course. Always auditioning for RuPaul. <laughs> right. A-A-R-P. Yeah. And that's a good thing. It's like, you know, we saw Tempest Du Jour, you know, one of the oldest contestants yeah. and Charlie Hyde's. It, you know, your life doesn't end at a certain age. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing, I've been doing drag since 1990. And some of these queens that are like, I'm gonna retire. I'm like, you're gonna retire? You're like 25. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I said, I didn't want to do after, you know? So, <laughs> you know, um, so that's why, like, Aggie Dune will be there after Cher. <laughs> that's, that's a long time. That is a long time. Yeah. Well, we'll be crossing our finger for you, Aggie. Hopefully you and Lady Wright can get on the same season. L Ooh. Do you want to be on there? So I can eat these bitches up real quick. Mm-hmm. Come on now. It's great. And when you're standing on stage for, you know, a long time and going through everything. <laughs> right. and like, okay, and the next judge goes, okay, and we're going to break for lunch. And you're like, uh, okay. And then, you know, like, they bring out, like, ribs. And you're like, great, I'm going to eat ribs while I'm in drag. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, um, so then you, like, get to the whole thing and you're, you're done. And then you're in the bottom, too, and you're like, great. Right. This is awesome. <laughs> right. Crank it out, you know. You so, crank it out full of ribs. Uh huh. So After you, standing for six hours in you your drunk you can. I know. Yeah, exactly. Oh, honey. So, you know. God you bless. You Lady Red, let, just get ready for some standing. Bitch, bring me the fucking ribs. Fuck the dumb shit. Like, let's go. <laughs> uh, you are not saying shit to me. Let's go. Mm. <laughs> okay, yeah. look at all. Oh, my God. Ricky Lake. Ricky Lake, my uh, personal angel. And uh, you were on her show. Doll, awesome. you're too fat to be a drag queen. Mm hmm. Um, and when she, I think she was pregnant during that, um, and we were standing in the, in the line and stuff, and she's like, your name's like too. And I was like, yeah, I was sort of like named after you. And she's like, oh my God, I feel old. <laughs> and I was like, no, like we're like the same age, I think, or something. And um, yeah, she was just, it was great to see like how that ran. And it was like, you know, um, you know, you, you think like, oh, do they talk to people? Like, you know, what's it like to see RuPaul, like when the cameras go off and everything? And you know, she's also smart, funny, witty, 
sharp, but a woman who's keeping her fucking show on track, and there's no, you know, it's professional. There was one day where the challenge wasn't working right, when we were upside down with the beards painted, and she went off on the crew for not having their shit together, and we were all standing in, like, this V formation, and we are like, because she was, like, going crazy. And then it's n- the only thing we talked about in the van ride home, like, remember when RuPaul fucking had, a f- like, a freak out? It was great. She's like, <laughs> I'm staring at these fucking lights, and I'm sweating. And, and I'm like, I get it. I get mm-hmm. it. So that was one of my favorite memories. So, so, you, so, so you, yes, Ricky Lake and yeah, RuPaul. Ricky Lake. So, yeah, Ricky Lake and... Um, well, they're both and, boss bitches. They're both yeah. in charge of their shit. <laughs> exactly. Ricky Lake was definitely in charge of the ship. Yeah, and she done, she's done so much for, you know, the Queens. It's like, she was like the new Donahue. Like, when I was growing up and I saw Donahue and I saw these, you know, and I saw Lady Bunny and Jane St. James and all these people on Donahue being like the club kids and the freaks and Kabuki Starshine. I was like, this is such an amazing world that's not just one thing. So, you know, you know, it's uh, that generation of bringing, you know, and of course there was a lot of the trash TV along yeah. with it, and I'm addicted to Still it. Still so. enjoyable, I as do. can be. You know? And mm-hmm. thank you for the job, Ricky. One person's Thanks. trash, another person's <laughs> treasures. That was literally one of the themes that they had me do on Ricky Lake one is day. That... Trash or treasure, and I had to go dumpster diving for trash and treasure. Oh, is that where they got the idea for that Drag Race episode where they were <laughs> jumping in? <laughs> Maybe. Dumpster? I would have been like, you know what? I will just tip the dumpster over. You know, you got to think outside the box. I'm not climbing in a dumpster. No. no. Look out. Is that Courtney Act? Yes, it is. Looking stunning. Yes, stunning. Um, Courtney, so, um, it's she was um, on the show. Like, she was that sort of... I'm great to myself, and I'm great to my body, and I'm, I'm doing all these things, and no, I'm not going to eat, you know, the potato chips, because they're bad for you and stuff, and luckily we sort of tainted her over to the dark side, <laughs> and, um, and she was such a spiritual light, um, and we had some great talks, and we weren't supposed to talk, but late night, she had a room next to mine, oh, and right. um, she would throw bars of soap at my window like we were in prison, and um, so I'd hear this clunk, clunk, and I'd open my balcony, and they didn't want you all on your balconies and stuff. And um, but um, so I would go out there, and we talk <laughs> over the, we would talk over the balcony, and um, we would talk about things and life and stuff. And I, she just became like this warm, like just a, a yeah spiritual guide to me, and um, and it was just great, and it was fun, and I love her to pieces completely. You know, um, what's something we wouldn't know about Courtney Act? Um, she really is, um, a, you know, a, a person who is so open-minded to things and helping you learn. Like, even her whole thing about, um, you know, teaching, you know, Willem about, you know, the, the use of, like, when people are like, she's a woman. No, she's a trans woman. It's like, no, you know, I don't want to degrade oh, right, that whole thing something. That happened, yeah, right, you know? yeah. Um, so it's about, like, you know, oh, this is what it means to, you know, to be... Like it, it. I, you know, I'm always learning new things. You know, I'll say things that you know I think are funny or whatever, and people are like, Mm-mm, that's not. And I'm like, okay, let me learn. You know, so um, that's what I love about Corny. And also, I mean, she's always fishy, all that kind of stuff. But I love what she's been doing over the past year, painting more draggy and getting like into that. Look, so I love it. Love it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Look at Ha! For part two of Look at Ha, click here. For more incredible episodes of Look at Ha, click down here. And don't forget to subscribe!